What is up? Welcome to another video and today we're doing something a little bit more fun yet again going back to the challenge side of things just because that's kind of what I built my base off of and I want to continue to do that but continue to push into those new areas be more creativity because that's how I can use my creativity not only in videography but also on the challenge side of things and finding unique ways to torture myself for your entertainment and today I let my followers decide my macros. So for me one this is what we drew they probably think they're being tricky they probably think they're gonna oh they're gonna catch me on this one but you're not. So here's what we're running with. We got a glass, zero that out, and change this to, no, not milliliters, not kilograms. Come on, I want grams. Boom, there we go. So we got egg whites, five grams of protein per serving. Absolutely nothing else, so 46 grams. So we gotta take 46 times six. And the magic number is 200 and 76 grams of egg whites, so let's do this. Again, you think you're tricking me, but you're not. It's like, it's like I've almost done this before. Gotta get every gram. Eh, we're a little over, whatever. Here we go. No, it's really not that bad. Just tastes like thick water. Now the difficult part comes in in this where I need to make it through three or four hours running on 30 grams of protein from liquid egg whites and make it through three classes and actually try to pay attention and learn. So class is over with for now. I made it back, it is about one o'clock. It'll probably be about 1.30 by the time I finish making and eating this meal. And I ate at about eight, if you could say, drank my egg whites at about 7.30 or eight o'clock this morning. So I'm absolutely friggin' starving. I cannot wait to eat this. And thankfully it's a pretty big meal. It's about 250 grams of carbs, five grams of fat, and 50 grams of protein. So I'm not really gonna be able to go with any kind of a meat source for this, because even trace fats in chicken breast or tilapia is still too high, because I do need to get 50 grams of protein. So I'm gonna have to go over live on this one. I'm gonna make the fattest bowl of cream of rice I've ever made in my life, and we're gonna enjoy it. And just for reference, for those of you who have made cream of rice before, you know how calorically dense it is. This is an entire full-size jar of peanut butter it can fit in this bowl, so we're talking the real deal here. Don't worry, we're only halfway. So again, for those of you who know cream of rice, you know how massive this is. For most of you probably eating cream of rice, this is probably what it looks like cooked and this is just raw. So if you're eating nuts and you're claiming you're not losing weight and you're blaming it on, oh, calories in, calories out, doesn't work. This is 50 calories of peanut butter. This is what it looks like. It's about the size of my eye, okay? Not much. Also, I'm putting a ton of honey in there. I think I'm putting 60 grams in. Like, this just feels wrong to me. Like, like I just shouldn't be doing this. That's only 30, 40, there, 60. Like, that's just ridiculous. So, sitting down to enjoy a meal that is, quite frankly, just absolutely ridiculous. So, we hit the nail right on the head with the macros on this one. It was 248 carbs, but I added, like, a blip of extra honey to get to that 250. Nailed it with 5 grams of fat from peanut butter and 50 grams of protein coming from some in, like, the blueberries, trace amounts, the whey, the cream of rice, and trace amount in the peanut butter. And I don't know how, take a guess at how much calories this is. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, I just put up the macro screen, but if you hadn't seen that, how much would you think this is? This is 1,200 calories, and I'm gonna smash this in like two minutes. So if you're out there and you're telling me you can't gain weight, you're just doing it wrong. It does taste pretty good though, huge fan of honey, but like, it's pushing it in terms of like, it's almost on the brink of too sweet. So I'm willing to bet that you have heard somewhere on YouTube fitness or TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, that carbohydrates and protein have four calories per gram and fat has nine. We all should know that. We all probably know that. But have you ever wondered why fat actually has more calories per gram and, and sat down and actually thought about, you know, what, what about fat makes it have more energy than carbohydrates? I'll give you a second to think about it. Maybe write a comment down below. And now I'm gonna give you the answer. So if you take a look at a picture of a sugar molecule, you'll notice that there's a lot of carbon oxygen bonds in this molecule. Now, depending on the picture I decided to show, that's not actually what it looks like in 3D space, but that isn't what's really important. What's important is that you see those carbon oxygen bonds because your body cannot metabolize those and turn it into anything. And Actually, that's a polar bond, which is why sugar dissolves in water. Now, on the contrary, if you look at what a fat molecule looks like, also not an accurate representation of it in 3D space, but if you look at it, there is significantly less 
carbon oxygen bonds compared to carbon hydrogen bonds. And what does your body do when it breaks things down? Well, it takes carbon hydrogen bonds, oxidizes them with oxygen and makes CO2, which you breathe out and water, which you excrete. Through processes we should all be familiar with, but not limited to urination, sweating and crying because your bench press won't go up. So to conclude this point, the reason fat has more energy per gram is because it has a lot more carbon hydrogen bonds that your body can oxidize and get that energy from and make ATP with. So in any given gram, there's more carbon hydrogen bonds that you can break down and turn into energy. So I'm sitting here making my pre-workout coffee as if I didn't have enough energy already with 250 grams of carbs flowing through my body, which if you know your body or you're lean enough, you can definitely know what I mean by feel the carbs. Literally, you can feel them rushing through your veins. It's quite an interesting feeling and it feels pretty awesome. Definitely gonna be stacking with, with some of my homemade pre-workout today just because I want this pump to be the best in recorded history. I know right now that I'm pushing the limits of my training and usually you get better pumps the more recovered you are and I'm kind of like starting to stack up on recovery, but with a day like this, you already know I'm gonna be getting plenty of recovery because I'm gonna take like a nine hour night of sleep tonight, use all these calories and then definitely cut them tomorrow to make up for it, but it is time to work out. I cannot wait and I'm bringing y'all along for the ride. So I'm back from the gym, back from lab, did not have time to eat between the two, so I've literally been running off that pre-workout meal, that 1200 calorie pre-workout meal for almost five hours now, and I still honestly feel pretty good, considering that meal had pretty much just carbohydrates and protein and almost no fat, and the protein was really quick digesting protein because it came from whey. I am shocked at how good I feel five hours after that, considering I thought I would crash 30 minutes after. And so for the infamous 69, 69, 69 macro count, I am going to go with Asian cuisine. I've been kind of experimenting with it. First of all, I was into like the Hispanic cuisine and now I'm moving into the Asian cuisine. And the reason I say Asian cuisine is because I'm going to use an imported sauce. That's imported teriyaki sauce. Super good. Got it from the global market near me. And then I'm going to put peanut butter for the fats because I don't want to just want to put oil. It seems like cheating, even though this is kind of just oil, but hey, whatever. And if you didn't know, peanuts are actually a huge staple in Asian cuisine. So I'm gonna mix this all up, give you a little montage of what I am doing. We're gonna see how it tastes. So as this is microwaving up, I'm actually starting to realize how difficult this is to make sure I get all the ingredients in. So we have the completed meal here. It is a shredded carrot with 99 one lean turkey breast that's just cooked in a pan in water, so no extra fat there, with a ton of peanut butter, rice, peas, corn, carrot. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, and teriyaki sauce, which would have been better with Korean barbecue sauce, but teriyaki was all I had access to. So we're gonna give this a taste test. It has an egregious amount of peanut butter in it, so we're gonna give it a shot and uh, see how it is five, four servings in here. There's like six to seven to eight tablespoons of peanut butter in this dish in this tiny little bowl. So we have like 700 calories coming from peanut butter. That is ridiculous. And so if there was less, maybe like one or two tablespoons, be way better. So don't knock it off. Actually, this actually is pretty good. This might be a meal I low-key will keep in. Uh, it's whole food. It's really, really good for you. And it's actually good, except for the fact that peanut butter is just way overpowering. And anybody who cooks with peanut butter would know that. And I'm talking cooks with peanut butter, not just eats it out of a jar with a spoon. Like, actually use it for culinary purposes. It has a very potent taste. Good taste, but strong taste. So 
into the kitchen for what should be the final time of the night. I know my hair and my head looks like a Q-tip right now. Got to get a haircut. That's what happens. It poofs up when I take a shower. So all nice and clean, ready to get this last meal underway. And I was deprived of breakfast foods because somebody decided to give me 30 grams of protein. So I was forced to drink egg whites. Not really ideal. Didn't really get to experience breakfast today. So in spite of that, I am going to be having a breakfast meal for my last meal. And I was going to do some Idaho spuds. Don't have any at the house, so I'm like, eh. I got some Kodiak cake mix that's probably expired that's been sitting in the back of the cupboard for as long as I can remember, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna make a fat pancake, just one though, because I only have 40 grams of carbs to work with. Speaking of which, here's the macros for this meal, as well as I'm gonna fill in the fats with some whole eggs. This is gonna drench the whole thing in syrup, and I have to add a little bit of whey to get enough protein, and that'll be the meal. <laughs> meal executing exactly how I said I was gonna two over easy eggs with one large pancake some ketchup and some syrup macros for this meal are up on the screen as well as somewhere around here I'll put the total macros for the entire day I'm not gonna figure out what it is yet because I'm gonna let myself be surprised I really don't know what to expect at all based on the two meals I had in the middle of the day which I only have four today normally I have five but I only had four and those two middle meals were gigantic. This one is much smaller, and so is the first one. So the calories will actually be pretty reasonable throughout this day, which again, is just crazy when you know how to manipulate calories. Your life can get so much better because you can have bigger meals, you can have smaller meals. You know, you don't need to have ginormous meals every single time that you decide to pick up the fork and put food in your face. Mm -hmm. 